Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing today? It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. And uh, I'm just going to share this out and uh, invite people in. So, hope you're doing this great today. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Miss Allison. I hope you guys are doing great this morning. I'm excited about, well, I'm, I always say it, but I am. I'm always excited about studying the Word of God this morning. Good morning, Tracy. We're studying a proverb, and... Uh, if you ever read Proverbs, like a proverb at a time, I always laugh to myself because nobody gets it. Maybe you get it. Um, it's almost like cracking a fortune cookie open because they're, they're literally words of wisdom. And uh, it's like you read these snippets and it's like, oh, that's a great wisdom. So this morning's is a proverb and Proverbs 12, 20, uh, 25 says this check it out <clears throat> anxiety is a in a man's heart weighs him down but a good word makes him glad Doesn't that sound like a if you would pick up a christian christian fortune cookie that would be in it you know that would be that one thing that just says okay that makes so much sense anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. That would be a word of wisdom. That would be something that someone would just make a, you know, a, a word of wisdom to you today. You know, uh, anxiety would weigh you down. And so that's so true. You think about when you have a stressful or ang uh, anxious moment, it it weighs you down it's it's what is the main thought that's on your mind it's the it's the only thing you can think about that that moment it's the it's the one that pushes down on every it's the thing that just holds you captive it holds your thought captive it holds your your day captive it holds you captive it just literally weighs you down it's some people have said it's almost like an anchor it's it's you can't think of anything else it's it's uh, those that deal with anxiety they say it's just terrible um, people have to go through a whole process to move through an anxious moments so when you think about anxiety in a man's heart it's almost like grasping at the heart. It's like, it's so tight. It's not having a heart attack, but some have described it as though feeling like they're having um, a stress attack, uh, uh, feeling like, ah, like it's, it's the worst moment of their life. It weighs him down or her down. Um, when you think about that, isn't that true? Isn't that true that in moments like that, in, and when that comes up, it's literally becomes either that length of time when you're in that anxious moment becomes one of the most darkest and dismal times, and you're like, I don't know if I can get through this. And... And you're like, okay, what do I do? What? How do I get through that? And, and I, response would be, you know, trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him, for He will, you know, create your path straight. It's it's that moment that you can say, I can make it. And and He'll 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 do it for you. He'll 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 create 
in that midst, he'll create that weight. He'll create a way for that weight to be released. The second part of this verse says this, a good word makes him glad. So in that midst, a good word, hi Tommy, a good word makes him glad. A good word that comes cl close to you. So when someone says something good to you and you're like, um, okay. First instance, come on now, let's, let's be an instance. If someone says something nice to you, you're the first thing is, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want from me? As we as humans, we sometimes, the first question is, what do you want? Uh, if my daughter goes, Dad, I love you so much. I know they love me, but usually if they have a smile on their face and they come and sit right next to me and they go, Dad, I love you. And I'm like, what do you want? You know, it's, it's <laughs> usually there's a backstory about why they're being nice to me at that moment. You know, because I remember when I was younger, I would go to my dad and say, Dad, I love you, man. And he'd look at me and went, what do you want? <laughs> but some, sometimes people are giving you a, a genuine good word to encourage you to, to say, man, you're doing a great job. You're, you're being authentic with you and, and just encourage you that you're awesome. You're amazing. And so just remember, not everybody wants something. In fact, people are, some people are really just saying, hey, I believe in you. And, and giving you really words of encouraging, which makes, it should make you glad, just make you feel glad. And uh, so when you begin to think about that, Think about that for a minute. Is are you in a in a moment that your heart is heavy, your your it's weighing you down? Is is are you in a moment of anxiety and you're like, ah, or are you just you feel good and you're like, yeah, my heart's glad. See, either you're glad or happy. You're like, well, I'm not. I'm just kind of numb right now. I'm not either, neither or, I just woke up. Because <laughs> that could be that too. But you typically, uh, there, there's two, two emotions these days. You're either happy or sad, glad or, or mad, you know. Um, even if you don't say, show it on your face, like a, a frown or a, a smile, there's something going on in in the midst of emotionally in um, your body. You're not emotionless people. No one is. And so um, just remember, it, it's true. There is something that always goes on in us. So, and uh, just wanted to encourage you in that today. Uh, encourage you in this topic. And this is a great passage of scripture. Uh, Psalms 12, 25. Get out your notebook. Write this verse out. Today it's in the ESV. And write it out. It says, anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down. But a good word makes him glad. Proverbs 12, 25. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. So before we pray, if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put that in the common area. And then um, we're going to pray. But uh, just a couple announcements. This is the last devotion for um, the week. This Sunday, I'll be preaching on Just Breathe. And... Uh, uh, if you know anything about Apple, there's a symbol on Apple products or an Apple watch that comes up and it's, it's, it says, time to breathe. And basically it's supposed to calm you down and refocus you. And when I wear my Apple watch, I, 
I'll be sitting there and I go, time to breathe. And I'm like, okay. And so, um, just breathe is the title of my sermon this Sunday. So if you live in Coffee County, come and join us for a service. It's going to be a, a, a great sermon on Sunday. And if you're not in Coffee County or you're ill, join us online at 10 o'clock uh, for that message. If not, I'll, I'll be back on Monday for that week. And, but be, be prayer, prepared the following week. We'll have a week without devotions because I'll be traveling again. So uh, be ready for that. So I just want to give you a heads up so that you're not like, where is he? I'll be traveling. So uh, just want to let you know. So let's pray. If you have devo uh, uh, prayer requests, uh, um, let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you for today. Um, thank you for what you do. Lord, thank you for helping us through the, the moments of anxiety and the heaviness but thank you for the joy that you get us that you give us every single day, Lord. We just thank you for it, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you heal our land of the COVID, and Lord, we thank you that it's taking place. And Lord, I I watch the news and I hear that, I, Lord, I hear more than I watch um, of the uptick of COVID cases. So I heal. I ask that you heal our land. I pray, Lord Jesus, for our government, that you give them wisdom. I pray that, Lord, that you just take care of it. And Lord, I also pray for those that are watching now and those that are watched later, that, Lord, that you bless them. I pray that you help us also to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. I also pray that, Lord, that you just, uh, uh, that you help give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. And I also, uh, I thank you for the Strutter's new grandson, Lord. Bless him and give him a good and healthy new life, Lord. I pray for this day, Lord. May we walk in the, the presence of you, Lord, every single day. We thank you for today, Lord. Give us a, a great weekend. And Lord, keep us safe, Lord, as we walk in your presence, Lord, in your name. Amen. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll talk to you. Hope to see you Sunday. But if I don't see you Sunday, we'll see you next Monday. God bless you. Love you guys.